Hi, I'm Jim Norton. I've never cooked anything in my life. Gordon Ramsay told me I have to use his recipe to make scrambled eggs. I've never made eggs. So I have the instructions printed out and I have the video and went shopping today and I bought eggs and I bought Pam for no stick, some uh, pepper, some chives. I had to buy some butter and they didn't have creme fraiche. I asked for creme fraiche. He looked at me like I asked for a flashlight. So I, I Googled and they said sour cream can be a nice replacement for creme fraiche. And I don't know if this is nonstick, so hence the pan. This is my kitchen. I had it renovated. It's very small. I don't need a whole lot of room, you know, because I live alone and only have a few friends. This is my refrigerator. I have some mustard, uh, some Arm & Hammer, and this is really my refrigerator. Some coffee, uh, which I've never drank, and butter, which I purchased today as per uh, Gordon's recipe. And this is my uh, freezer. These are in case I injure myself, and I don't want to tell you what I do with that. And this is the oven. I've never used the oven. This cardboard has been in there since day one. It's been a year and a half. Look at this. These are shavings from when I moved in. It's a lovely piece of equipment. And this is the unused stove. Here are the directions. We're ready to start. Let's hope I don't fuck this up. Now, start off with cold eggs. Straight in to the pan. God damn it. Hold on, I got shavings in there. Ow. Motherfucker. How many shells are you supposed to get in here? God damn it. You take your butter, three small knobs of butter. From there, on to the stove. You bring the gas up high and then start cooking the eggs very gently. Every time I stir, I'm cleaning the bottom of the pan. Now we put the heat on high. Wait. And we start at the timer. Stir for 30 seconds on and off. Oh, butter now? Yeah. Three things of butter. And I just put it on and stir a little bit. for 30 seconds on, and then 30 seconds off. My yolk is not breaking. Isn't it supposed to break? How come my butter's not melting? He said you're cleaning the bottom of the pan each time. Each time cleaning the bottom of the pan. This way you don't want them to overcook. There's nothing worse than overcooked eggs or undercooked eggs. They have to be just right. This butter won't melt. How long is it supposed to take butter to melt? Did I cut too thick a hunk? If we were to season the eggs now, they would go gray. So, 30 seconds on, back off. That slows down the cooking process, stops the eggs from overcooking. Now you don't want to add the seasoning too early or the eggs will gray. A 136, off. Okay, they smell good, but it, it, my butter's not melting. My butter's, it's melting, all right, there we go. Okay, I hope these are, I, I, how long do I have to stir these for? These are too liquidy. Why are my eggs so liquidy? It's like I'm making egg soup. But here's where it goes to a completely different level. Take a teaspoon of creme fraiche, Ooh. goes in. Ooh. That gives a really nice creamy texture. More importantly, it stops them from overcooking. Hold on, let me put some creme fraiche. All right, yeah, little thing of that. Foot. Oh, that's not creme fraiche. Okay, a little pepper. All right, almost ready to eat. These are gonna be good in a little while. All right, so now I guess I just stir them until they look good. What did I do wrong? Did I use the wrong pan? Oh, they're starting to come together. Here we go. Right, let's take them off so we don't burn them. Mm-hmm. You don't want these to stick to the pan. So this is my own method of turning this upside down to kind of push them along. See, he, he did it much faster. But I'm afraid I'm gonna get splatter up in my face. Oh yeah, here we are. Oh boy. All right, you don't want them to be too. And then we turn the heat off to be responsible. And then, I probably shouldn't be putting that. That's where the raw egg was. Mmm, mmm.
Oh, I forgot this. A little bit of, God damn it. Chives. Put that back there. And here we go. A uh hot. -huh. Really good. I did it. And that's it for this episode of Jim Norton Finally Acts Like an Adult. Uh, but these Gordon Ramsay, uh, uh, this uh, uh, recipe for eggs was really phenomenal. And this is the first thing I've ever made in my life. And it's good. So uh, looks like I'll be eating eggs for the next five years. Thanks. <laughs>